All right, in this video, I want to talk about satisfying the domain of a function, or equivalently, we're going to find the domain. Typically, any time I see a domain question, there's two big things I think I have to avoid. There's two big restrictions. If there's any fractions floating around, we have to omit any values of x that give us 0 in the denominator. So we'll have to solve that equation. And if there's any uh, square roots, or really uh, any even-powered root, we don't want any negative numbers to appear underneath that radical after we kind of simplify and do all the arithmetic. So, two questions. Let's find the domain of these two. Uh, 1 over x squared minus 7x minus 30, and then b, we've got the square root of 2x plus 3. So to me, kind of the idea, the values that are bad, or the values that I must omit for this first equation, I don't want any value of x that makes the denominator 0. So I'm basically thinking, if I set, you know, what makes the denominator x squared minus 7x minus 30, I'm thinking, what makes that equal 0? Well, we just hopefully factor this. So let's see, I need, two no I need an x and an x to get my x squared. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 30, so I know I'm going to need a negative and a positive. Um, those two numbers, when I multiply, I have to get negative 30, but I have to add up to negative 7. So I think if we use negative 10 and positive 3, those two numbers will, will fit the bill. And again, I want this to equal 0, so if we set x minus 10 equals 0, we'll get x equals 10, and we'll get x equals negative 3 as solutions. So our domain is going to be all values of x all values of x except for x equals uh, 10 and x equals negative 3. We could write that in interval notation by simply saying it's from negative infinity up to negative 3. Then we have to skip over negative 3 and go up to 10. And then we have to skip over 10 and go all the way to positive infinity. So sort of two different equivalent ways. Um, the other one here, we have the square root of 2x plus 3. So again, to me the values that are good, in this case, is the way I think about it, it's good if what's ever underneath the square root is greater than or equal to 0. That's what we need to happen. We only want numbers that are greater than or equal to 0, whatever's under the square root. Well, 2x plus 3, that's what's underneath the square root. So this now produces an inequality I have to solve. Unfortunately, this is just a linear inequality, so it's not too bad. I can subtract 3 from both sides and get 2x greater than or equal to negative 3, divide by 2, and it says x needs to be greater than or equal to negative 3 halves. So again, this is my domain in this case. In an interval notation, we can write that as brackets, negative 3 halves up to infinity, and that would be the domain for our our radical or our square root function.